Hello everyone. Uh, this is Ashish. I am a developer advocate at Elastic. So welcome to another bite uh, of a season five. So in this episode, we're going to see how we can use the Elastic Search as a as an access term uh, with a lang chain, and uh, uh, we're going to use the uh, Elastic Search store integration. So I will highly recommend if you have missed the what is the possible. Uh, what is a possible integration with the Lang chain and Elasticsearch? Uh, you can check out the previous bytes. Uh, so let's get started with the rags. So uh, rag is, uh, I think, it's retrieval augmented generation, which is nothing but whenever whenever we uh, pass any question to the LLM. So uh, sometimes there is a possibility is that uh, the LLM should not have a, that proper knowledge or proper data around that particular question. So it may uh, it may give you the wrong result. Uh, it, it may uh, hallucinate you, right? So uh, so RAG is a process where we uh, get the data as a context and we pass it with the question so that LLM can give the better answer. So uh, here, uh, as a RAG system, we're going to use the Elasticsearch, and we're going to uh, use the Elasticsearch as a vector store in a Lang chain. So uh, let's directly jump on a code, and let's see how we can achieve this. So uh, this is, a, again, uh, this is a notebook. Uh, you, can, you can get started with the installing package Lang chain, and uh, I'm importing the package here. So, uh, here, if you notice, I'm going to use the Elasticsearch store. So Elasticsearch store is a, it, it is a Langchain integration, which is highly recommended here. You can find, which is a highly recommended to use. Uh, so if, if you want a detailed explanation, you can just check the previous bytes. So uh, I, can, I can use this, all those stuff, and I can import these packages. Uh, Let's let's simply load the documents, load the data sample data set. So here I'm using this data set, which is nothing but the workplace data, and uh, workplace data is this is available in a JSON format. So I'm simply going to load this data and going to load this data into this variable. So uh, once this variable loaded, let's split this big data into the smaller chunks. Right, so with the, this could be the possible with the help of the character text splitter and a text splitter, it will uh, divide my document into smaller chunks, right? And it will store all documents into the docs variable. Once uh, you have you done with the splitting, uh, let's uh, jump on how to index these data, these data, right? So I'm going to use the sparse vector retrieval strategy of Elasticsearch store, right? Package. So if you don't know about what is it, uh, feel free to uh, uh, check the previous bytes on this. And uh, so here we are going to generate, uh, we are going to insert the data uh, by passing through the ELSER model. So ELSER model is going to generate the sparse vector and then we, uh, it will uh, insert into the Elasticsearch. So let's, let's index some data into Elasticsearch. I'm going to run this. Cool. So this has been run, and let's check on uh, on my. This is my Elastic Cloud instance in Kibana. So I'm simply uh, going here by store. Oh, sorry, the rag. This is my index name, and simply I'm going to search this. So in the search, you can see my. This is my document. This is my content. And uh, this is the respective sparse vectors, right? So uh, you can also check the quick mapping, how it created the index. So here, uh, yes, so here the, there's a vector. And in a vector, we got the tokens, the type, the lang features. So uh, this, this all, everything, index creation and everything is taken care of by this particular method. You don't need to explicitly create uh, create on an elastic search site. So once index has been loaded, let's let's explore, let's do some searches. So here I'm going to simply use the similarity, the similarity underscore search method. Simply pass your uh, whatever the query you want to pass and hit it. So. What is the goal for 2024? And I got 
uh, the relevant documents, right? Uh, so yes, this is a simple semantic search. Now uh, let's let's uh, use this as a retrieval augmented generation, right? So there is a two method uh, to uh, use the Elasticsearch as a VAG in a lang chain. First is using retriever. So retrieval is the inbuilt in the inbuilt the method which provided by the lang chain. Here we're simply going to uh, call the uh, as underscore retriever method. Uh, and we're going to pass this pattern k is equal to four. So four, it's, it's going to return the top four relevant document, right? And I have also created this template, answer the question based only on the following context. And this is context and question is a placeholder. I'm simply uh, passing my template to from underscore template. And uh, then this is the, which is actual, the advantage of the Lang chain. I'm creating the chain. So this is the basic syntax where I'm explicit, explicitly uh, specify the context, context as a retriever, which is this. And the question is, I'm, pass, I'm uh, um, calling the runnable pass-through method. So runnable pass-through, basically, whatever I'm going to pass in the invoke function, whatever the question, it's uh, going to pass it here. So let's, and then whatever the output is coming with the prompt, it's simply going to pass to the chat open AI. So this is kind of the chaining stuff. Uh, output of uh, one output of one module will go. One component will go as an input to the other. And at the end, we're going to simply uh, uh, print the message. So let's let's run this. So now uh, this query will go. It will fetch the content and it will go to the chat GPT Open AI. And this is the result. The goal of 2024 to increase the revenue, expand market share and strengthen the customer relationship in the target market. So yes, this is something uh, coming from my data, right? Now, there's a method to rag with Elasticsearch, but without retriever. So when I say the without retriever here, I have added my one function. So add context. So here, if you are, if you want to get your uh, data by using the custom query or by using the Elasticsearch library, Python library, you can, uh, you can specify uh, the way you want. And uh, you can simply, simply bind this add context into the runnable Lambda uh, a method. So this will bind in, in, the, in the runtime. So whatever the query I'm going to send, it will indirectly send to this method. And this, this function will uh, return the, uh, the context, right? So here I'm uh, I'm doing nothing but the query to my Elasticsearch and finding the semantic search result and simply I'm joining as a string and returning as a uh, as a context as a string right so uh, on a context I'll get uh, my context from this method at add underscore context and for the question I'm I'm simply uh, again calling the renewable pass through which is this the vacation policy. And uh, yes, you can define your own model, uh, your model as well. But uh, I think default is uh, Turbo 3.5, uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo. So even if I'm not going to specify, it's okay. It's it's up to you. So I'm going to run this and let's see what what result we get. Cool. The purpose of the vacation policy is to outline the guidelines and yeah, I I and let's let's verify from our data whether we having a some vacation policy or not. So yeah, we having the vacation policy and the purpose of this is yes, it's coming from our source only, right? So yes, now uh, let's, uh, at the end, I, I would like to compare uh, the result from uh, with rag and without rag. So here uh, in, in, this co in, in this code snippet, we directly going to ask a question to the chat GPT, the open AI, and in this in this uh, uh, snippet, we are uh, taking a help with the rag, okay? And then let's let's uh, compare some of the results. So uh, I'm going to hit my first question is let's say when is work work from office is resuming or maybe starting? I'm not sure, but yes. So let's see what uh, what ChatGPT gives the result and what it are like. So okay, so ChatGPT is given. I'm sorry, 
but as an AI language model, I don't have access to specific company policies. Of course, uh, this is the actual key issue, but it is given the uh, it has given the some general response. But with the lag, the work from office is starting on a May 1, 2023. So let's let's uh, let's check uh, verify this whether it's uh, actual right or not. Uh, yeah. So here's the starting May 2022. The company will be implementing a two day in office work. So yes, I think this is this is perfect. Let me show you one more example quickly. Um, detailed steps for uh, for uh, new employee employee onboarding. Let's see what uh, because I think I have a data for this. Okay, this this is the onboarding process, and uh, let's see. Let's compare some of the result. Yeah, got the result. So this is a chat GPT response, and I I'm very much sure it is a very generic response, uh, but not from my sources. But uh, this is a very detailed process, detailed steps, which is coming from my this document. Right. Uh, let's check probably the review policy, the orientation, and mount. Yeah. And then the orientation and kind of so, a uh, chat GPT has uh, has uh, given the proper response whenever when whenever I'm asking the question with the better context in a real level context. So uh, yeah, this is how you can achieve uh, you you can connect your private data with the you know, with the LLM and uh, you can achieve the better result, right? So uh, that's it for the day, folks. And if you have any 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 feedback or any doubts, feel free to comment it out. And thanks for watching.